If you want to print polypropylene in a closed printer, then this video may be for you, where I document my path to printing polypropylene on my Bamboo um, X1 printer. I went through a lot of different build services, so you don't have to, like from the, the regular PAI, cool plate, engineering plate, polycarbonate plate, layer lock build plates. Um, I used nanopolymer, tested um, a smart stick polypropylene glue. Uh, went through it all. But in case you don't want to go through all those tests and failures, uh, then simply know that for me, I found the best solution was um, uh, a special glue specific for printing polypropylene. And that was the uh, smart, material, smart Materials um, Smart Stick uh, Polypropylene Glue. Uh, there were other solutions that uh, worked or partially worked that you can also try. And in this video, you'll see uh, how those results fared for me. And so hopefully uh, this uh, this is informative to you. This is one of my uh, better commissions. It takes about three hours, but the tuning's a little difficult because this is polypropylene. Uh, let's see how it turns out. I'm having trouble with it sticking and I can literally see it peeling off. Oh my gosh. That's 105 degrees and with glue on the bed. Also the bed's being cleaned. Hmm. So I thought I should just try the regular um, cool plate, PLA, PG, ABS. Who knows, maybe this works better. Also a cool thing to note is the translucent nature of uh, polypropylene is quite pretty good and maybe better than PETG. Yeah, okay, so uh, cool plate does not work. And engineering plate from bamboo also did not work. So what's next? Wow, I can't believe it's actually working on uh, packing tape because packing tape is propylene in itself. It looks like it's adhering quite nicely for now. Yes, it did work, but it's pulling up at the sides. Well, you can see it's lifting up way too much. So yeah, I'll have to try something else. So it sticks to the packing tape or cell phone tape very well. Uh, just when you factor in that the tape does not adhere to the bed very strongly, then it's just going to lift up like that, especially since this uh, material is prone to warp. There are these cheaper um, bill plate stickers. I'm, you know, Overture used to give this free. Uh, earlier printers used to use this a lot. Now it's like PEI. I give this a go. All right. Just gonna pop that in there with this new surface. And then we're gonna run it again. Uh, don't use AMS. Do, do, do. Love bamboo. As easy as that. Well, as you can see, that didn't quite work. So, yeah, this doesn't work. Just, that's very weird. I, I think it was too high as well. Maybe it's just because of the leveling is thrown off, which means I would like to try this Garolite. I think it's Garolite G4. G4? It's usually used for um, nylon. I don't think I can just slap this on here. It might throw off the printer, but it'd be nice to try this. All right, so now I'm trying some nanopolymer from, that's nanopolymer, sorry, from North Print 3D. I just smeared some on top and then spread it out. And this is actually the Bamboo Labs um, uh, regular plate with the, um, the cool surface peeled off. So it's just metal or whatever this um, coating is. I'm not sure what it is, but you're not supposed to print on this. But we'll see how it, it turns out um, by adding some nanopolymer. I, this is good with um, just um, straight up metal with no nothing on top. So I thought this might be the closest thing I have. Let's so see how that turns out. All right, that is a no. Very much a no. Oh, this camera focus. There we go. Okay, and finally, nanopolymer on engineering side. This is the best so far, but it is lifting still. Mm. Right, I, have, I am happy to announce that 
it totally worked. The layer lock build service and the, um, not the Magigoo, but what is it? The uh, Smart Stick polypropylene bed adhesion. Well, at least so far it's working a lot better than it was before. Um, I'm sorry, it's not clear. My, my camera is just not focusing, but it is not lifting. Everything looks good. And voila, printed. I don't know how the sports are. Let's see. So unlike everything else I tried, this bed adhesion is pretty good. Like it's coming off all right, but it is uh, fairly well stuck. Sports came off fine and it's almost perfect. This night. maybe some cooling issues right here on the edges, but overall very nice. My recommendation is to also put the um, glue on the purge lines because I had a lot of difficulty removing them and actually I think peeled up some of the build service. Um, so I think the glue is actually to help release from uh, from this uh, bed sheet. So anyway, good luck if you're gonna try printing polypropylene. Remember, it's it's kind of toxic, so you want to have your uh, printer venting. I have mine venting out the window. I have um, a fan at the back there, blowing air through. And you've got the X1C, then you have a carbon filter at the back as well. You know what? I just tried this on the PEI sheet. I read online that you might, that's all you need to do. And so far, it's working. I don't see it peeling up. Um, so really, you might just need to get uh, one of these uh, glues that's specific to polypropylene and you don't need, say, the special Loctite uh, Gerolite surface. Um, and in fact, I think the Gerolite surface is, sticks too well. Like, it, it's actually peeling off and picking up. Um, it might be better off to just use a PI surface, which is tougher. But we'll see if this, uh, this print, you know, uh, works out. Ta-da! Looks pretty good. A little bit of peeling, but Dimensionally, I think it's okay. Thank you very much, Smart Stick. If you want to get polypropylene uh, printed on a PI sheet, you just need this. It works fabulously. So here it is, all done. One thing to note though, it still left uh, residue or this glue residue on here. I can't seem to get it off easily. I tried water, tried scratching it. Um, you know what? Alcohol seemed to do it. It seems to um, dissolve the, uh, not the magic goo, but the smart stick um, glue. Cha -ching. So if that was informative, just uh, like and subscribe. That will encourage me to make more of these videos. I seem to only come out with these videos very sporadically, but the more subscribers I get, the more likely I'll produce more content. And I got a lot of content and a lot of princes I could um, have content on. Hope to have more content on this tool changer, Pro Force 4. But it's slow for me to, to set up, but it's finally up and running.